In this tutorial, I am going to explain the straight lines inclined to both the reference planes concept. To understand this concept, we have to consider two observations. First one is when the straight line is first inclined to HP, then inclined to VP. What happens? So that observation is something like this. Now observe this animation. Now the line is above HP and some distance in front of the vertical plane. Assume this line name is AB. Then consider A dash B1 dash is the front view. This is the simple position. That's why in the front view also you will get the two length. In the top view also you will get the two length. Top view is something like this. That is AB1. Now the line is making some angle with respect to the horizontal plane. This angle assumes some theta. So this is the position of the B after getting the inclination with respect to HP. But this is parallel to VP. That's why you will get the true length in the front view, reduce length in the top view. So this is the reduce length AB2 in the top view. A dash B2 dash is the true length. This A dash B2 dash is the true length. So this angle is theta. Now it is making inclination with respect to HP only. This is parallel to VP. Once you are giving the inclination with respect to VP, so here when the line is making some angle with respect to HP, something like this, the line passing through B2 dash you call as the locus of front views because the final front view lies on this line only. So to prove this, what I'll do is I'll consider a plane passing through A, B, B2 and A, something like this. So observe this plane. So whatever may be the angle with respect to VP, this B dash will, the front view, final front view B dash will come on to this line only. To understand this concept, observe this, I am giving some angle with respect to VP. I have tilted the line with respect to VP. That means this line will be tilted on this plane. This is the position of the top view. If you project the front view, if you project the front view, the front view comes here. That is the final front view B dash. So A dash B dash is the final front view. A B is the final top view. Here the observation is whatever may be the angle with respect to VP, this B dash point lies on this locus of front views only. If, if it is 10 degrees, it will come somewhere here. If it is 60 degrees, it will come somewhere here. If it is 90, this will come somewhere here. But always this B dash point lies on this line only. That is the observation from this animation. Second observation is the line is first making some angle with respect to VP. After that, it is tilted with respect to HP. Now observe that. This is above HP, in front of VP, this is the position of the line, A dash B1 dash is the front view, A B1 is the top view, these are the projections in the simple position, this is the simple position. Now I am giving some inclination with respect to VP, assume that this is phi, then the top view will give the true length. The true length is AB, AB3. In the front view, you will get the reduced length. This is called as locus of top views. This line you call as locus of top views because the final top view lies on this line only. Now I am going to prove that. Now observe the front view. A dash B3 dash is the front view that is giving the reduced length because of this inclination. Front view is giving the reduced length. So when you are tilting this. AB line with respect to HP automatically this front view reduced length will be tilted observe that so consider a plane like this whatever may be the inclination of this line AB with respect to HP this top view lies on this line only observe here the top view will lying on this line only that is the final top view AB so whatever may be the angle this ma'am angle is some 10 degrees B will come somewhere here 60 B will come somewhere here, 90 B will come somewhere here. But locus of B lies on this line only, that is proved by this example. 
how to combine first two cases that is shown here observe this so first time starting with the simple position above hp the line is above hp some distance above hp some distance in front of vp means a dash b1 dash is the front view a b1 is the top view next i am tilting this with respect to hp I am tilting this with respect to HP to, to theta angle. Then this is B2 dash. The top view will show the reduced length that is AB2. Observe this first case. Simple position. After that, tilting this to some angle theta. Then this is the this is the front view a dash b2 dash is the front view a b2 is the top view this is giving the reduced length this is giving the true length this is the locus of front views this is the locus of front views after tilting this line with respect to vp the front view lies on this line only that's why here that line is drawn that is locus of front views that means b dash point will lie somewhere here that's why this is called as the locus of front views now i am Drawing the second case also on the same figure. In the second case, we have to tilt the top view. A, B1, we have to tilt. This is B3. From B3, if you draw a projector, here you will get B3 dash. A, B3 is the true length. A dash, B3 dash is the reduced length. This is the locus of top views. That's what you are seeing in this second case. Observe here. Above HP. In front of VP. This is the front view. This is the top view. Now you are tilting this with respect to VP to angle some phi. Now this is the top view which is representing the true length. This is locus of top views. This is representing the reduced length in the front view. So this case also I have drawn in the same figure here. That means first two cases combined I am drawing here. Next one is if you rotate this front view, you are going to get the final front view. So that's why I am rotating this front view up to what angle means until it intersects with the locus of front view because the front view lies on this line only. That's what we have seen here. Observe here. If you rotate this front view, you are going to get the final front view position. So you have to rotate like this to get the final front view. So up to what extent you have to rotate means up to the intersection of this line. That's why take A dash as center, A dash B3 dash as radius, rotate it like this. So that is the final front view. Next, to get the final top view, here you are rotating this top view a b2 then only you are getting the final top view so you have to rotate it like this up to what angle means until it intersects with this locus of top views take a as center a b2 as radius rotate this line as shown here this is the final top view now whether we have done correctly or not further the verification is this b dash and b must lie on the same projector Yes, these two are lying on the same projector means this procedure is correct. Then the angle made by A dash B dash which is the final front view is called as apparent angle that is denoted with alpha. The angle made by the final top view that is AB is called as another apparent angle with respect to VP that is denoted as beta. Theta phi are the actual inclinations. Alpha beta are the apparent angles with respect to the final front view and final top view. This is one standard procedure. By understanding this, you can solve any projections of straight lines inclined to both problems.